Welcome to the Pyramid Insider. I'm Tyler Patner. Today we have some new releases from FX, the 25 caliber hybrid slugs and the brand new Superior liner. So first thing we're going to be taking a look at today is the new hybrid slug in 25 caliber. Now these are 26 grains, so a relatively lightweight for a slug. And if they're anything like their 22 caliber variant, these should be very good in a lot of guns. But that intros kind of into the second new thing we got today, which was a bit of a surprise, and that's this new Superior liner. Now, built on the Smooth Twist X system, but according to FX, a little bit more precise in terms of the manufacturing here. Uh, so we should be getting more consistent results, I suppose. I, again, we'll test and see just exactly what the Superior liner is doing. But the real important point here is that FX is saying, unlike the 22 caliber, these hybrid slugs are not going to shoot very well out of your pellet liners. You're going to want to get one of these Superior liners. Now, for those of you out there that are thinking, well, why wouldn't I just get a slug liner? This is where the caveat comes in. FX is also saying that this Superior liner is going to shoot pellets just as well if not better than the pellet liners that are existing today. So you're getting the best of both worlds, a liner that shoots both pellets and slugs. So to put the new slugs and the new liner to the test, we have two FX guns today that we're gonna be testing in. The first of those is an FX Dream Light. Now this is of the Dreamline platform, of course, 600 millimeter barrel, and this already has the Smooth Twist X Superior liner installed. It also has the Power Plenum installed, and what you guys can see here on the reg gauge, this thing is jacked up to the max, a little bit over 150 bar. This thing is meant to be a powerhouse to push those slugs at the speeds they want to be shot at. Got it topped off with a Miopta 4.5 to 27 first focal plane scope. Should complement the rifle really nicely, but this is going to kind of be our test bed more for the slugs than the pellets. Now to compare a pellet liner to this new Superior liner, we have my own personal FX Wildcat Mark II here. Now this is the 700 millimeter barrel variant, so we are going to go ahead and shoot this with both standard pellets. Its favorite food is the JSB Kings. We're going to shoot it with those Kings. We're also going to shoot it with the new hybrid slugs. See how it does should be running them right at about 880 or so uh, and then we're going to swap over to the superior liner and see if it in fact does shoot as well or better with pellets and how much better it's going to do with slugs so we're going to put it to the test and see what it can do uh, both at 45 yards and then out to 100 yards as well So since we've never done this before in terms of switching liners for you guys on camera, figured it'd be a good opportunity to show you how it's done. So we're gonna take the Wildcat here, and this is pretty much the same procedure for any of the FX guns with the STX liner system. And the first thing you're gonna do is loosen up your shroud system. And once you can slide it off, go ahead and do so. Once you have your shroud off, that'll expose your barrel housing. Uh, and then at the end of your barrel housing, you have this kind of locking nut here. And you'll notice it has two flats on it for a crescent wrench or, or a standard wrench. And you just kind of go ahead, get that slid onto those flats, tighten it down there, and then torque counterclockwise. And then once you get it loose, you just go ahead you can twist it out by hand, very easy to do. And you can see now we have our pellet liner exposed. I'm just gonna kind of get it started there and then pull it on out. And you can see a couple O-rings on there. We are gonna wanna take the O-rings and put them onto our superior liner. So I will get those off and get them put onto the superior liner and then we'll go ahead and reinstall. So I've gotten the O-rings replaced onto our superior liner. You can play with the spacing if you want. This is just kind of where I threw them on. Uh, and you want to pay close attention to this line in the back. That is your breech end of the barrel liner. So keep that in mind. We're just going to go ahead, slide it on in. A little bit of silicone grease is good on the O-rings as well. I definitely recommend that. And get it seated in there. And we're going to go ahead, take our screw here. Get that started, and then once you get to the end there, you take your wrench and make sure it's nice and tight. And then we'll slide our shroud back over. 
And just get your shroud cinch back down, nice and snug. And now our superior liner's installed. Now let's go put it to the test. So starting at 45 yards with the FX Dream Lite, uh, all cranked up there. We have five JSB Kings and a 5 8 inch group here, uh, running about 930 feet per second on average for those five. Uh, a lot faster than I'd recommend pushing pellets. Uh, you drop that down probably 40, 50 feet per second and the group's probably gonna tighten up a bit, but that speed is very beneficial when we talk about these slugs. Now these hybrids, in that superior liner, again, 5 8 of an inch, so basically the same size as our pellet group, just a little bit different shaping, uh, 939 foot per second average, so just slightly faster out of that gun there, uh, but again, the superior liner absolutely doing well with both pellets and slugs there at 45. Now moving over to the Wildcat, again, a 700 millimeter barrel, but usually they do shoot a little bit slower, Not doesn't have all the fancy adjustments that we do on that Dream Light. A half inch group here, five Five shots at about 880 with JSB King. So this is kind of standard accuracy for the Wildcat, at least in my experience. And then putting those slugs into that pellet liner, a two inch group, this is pretty bad. Uh, 885 foot per second average. Again, there's barely any weight difference, so the speed makes sense. Uh, but A, slugs don't want to be pushed this slow. They definitely want a little bit more speed. Uh, and that pellet liner just simply doesn't appear to like them. So after changing over to the superior liner, we have another half inch group with the pellets, JSB Kings again out of that superior liner. And then moving over to the slugs, a huge improvement, a three quarter inch five shot group out of that superior liner at right around 895 feet per second. So a little bit of speed increase probably would have done even better had they been going faster. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and extend the range with the superior liner here and see just what it can do out of distance. For the long range shooting today, we got 90 yards here in the warehouse. Not quite the 100 we wanted, but it'll certainly work. Uh, starting off with the Dream Light here with that 600 millimeter superior liner. Uh, with the JSB Kings, a 0.9 inch group here, five shots, so an MOA group, fantastic. Uh, so certainly just as good as we'd expect to see out of a pellet liner at this distance indoors. And then with those hybrids, a 1.1 inch five shot group, certainly pretty solid. Uh, and this obviously shot those hybrids a little bit better than our Wildcat did. Moving over to the Wildcat, we have a 0.98 inch group with the JSB Kings, just a little bit bigger, but still very respectable, you know, sub one inch there. And then with our slugs, again, pushing those slugs a little bit slower in the Wildcat, we got four out of five in a one inch group and then that, that one up there is kicking it up to about an inch and a half center to center from the bottom to the top there. Now this is a really important group right now because with that superior liner again inch and a half at 90 yards I want to remind you guys before the superior liner with the original pellet liner A those hybrids two inches at 45 yards. This is a smaller group at double the distance. That's what this superior liner is gonna give you the advantage of is shooting those slugs reasonably well. Of course, you tune your gun for them and they are gonna certainly perform better than you saw here. Um, but guys, that's really in a nutshell what the superior liner is gonna give you. Better performance with slugs without compromising your pellet performance. And that's what this is all about. We hope you guys enjoyed the video today. For The Insider, I'm Tyler Patner. Don't forget as always to like, comment, subscribe, and check us out on Facebook and Instagram. We'll see you at the next one.